do the ropes. I'm going to do the ropes and we're going to go into Birmingham. Right, ropes. And we're off. So bye bye, Cadbury's factory. Corner. <laughs> Looks done like a little train platform, station platform. Oh wow! Look at this, it's so gorgeous. So there's some train strikes today, so they are taking the opportunity to do these trees. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Today's trip is only four miles, but it does include Edvaston Tunnel and lots of sights along the way. Now here we're in the area of Selly Oak and there are several theories as to why it got its name. Some say that it was named after Sally's Oak, who was a local witch who was buried underneath an oak tree with an oak stake through her heart, which later they claimed grew into its own tree. So we're coming up to Sainsbury's on the left hand side here so you can moor your boat and nip into Sainsbury's but uh, I don't think I need anything today. Over in the distance you can just make out the world's tallest freestanding clock tower called Old Joe, which was named after Birmingham University's first Chancellor, Joseph Chamberlain. So this is the old Selly Oak Wharf and the lime kilns used to be under there and the boats would go straight through to the lime kilns to pick up the lime. Do you know, this is one of the things I really love about narrow boating is as you're passing through so slowly, you learn so many stories about the history of the waterway that you're travelling on.
old Joe in the distance there was actually based on the Torre de Manja. And yes, I did use Google Pronounce to help me with that one. This boat has obviously travelled a lot. Oh, I just got a whiff of intelligence in the air there because here we are slap bang in the middle of Birmingham University. So the university has its own train station. So look at the rock here, you can see where they carved the canal straight through the rock both sides of this canal you can see the rock so this bit's lovely and straight and we are in Edgebaston and you can get an idea of the speed of our boat because watch the pedestrian on the towpath on the left hand side And it looks like we're still following him as we go into Edgebaston Tunnel, which does have a towpath for pedestrians as well. Some amazing cobwebs up where these lights are. I did ask the gentleman if he would like a lift as we were obviously going in the same direction but he said he liked the walk into the city centre. So we're coming into the city centre. I can't explain why, but suddenly arriving in Gas Street Basin in the centre of Birmingham just gave me goosebumps. It's lovely here. Here we are in Gas Street Basin, so called because it was the first street in the city centre to have gas lighting. It is cool, isn't it?
So we're just trying to find the best place to moor. We're going to look around Easel's Loop. That's where we're going to turn into. So we have to see how we do this. And this turn looks well, almost impossible. So I think we may have missed the official Oozles loop turn for if you're on this side of the canal. Oh my gosh. to get down there but we can't get down there. Right we're gonna more we can more here on these bollards on the bollards So I'm now packing my journal and I'm packing the title page that I have done um, into the bags. Plus I've got some calendar parcels to deliver. So thank you if you bought my calendar. It's, it's been really lovely. So thank you very much. I'm still selling the calendars and it's February. So I've got those two to do. And uh, I'm now off to visit the Prestige Printing Design in Birmingham. I'm taking Zephyr with me because she comes everywhere with me and hopefully we'll get this book printed and ready to make into other copies. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so excited. But first of all, Zephyr just had to get herself a photograph with the giant Lego giraffe. And I found a way how I could successfully grow succulents. And I found the closest thing to a narrowboat in Lego. I'll let you know what happened at the printers in a minute, but first I want to take you to a little haven I found in the city. So literally a 20 minute walk from where the boat is moored, less than 20 minutes, I think it's 18 minutes to get here. So Birmingham city centre, Edgebaston Reservoir that feeds the canal. It's just a little piece of, a piece of heaven. Designed by Thomas Telford, Edgebaston Reservoir is now home to a wide range of bat species and waterfowl. Just listen, you cannot believe we're in the middle of a city.
Right, I'm back from the printer, so I'm just going to show you something. So here is an example of a page from the journal, which we'd have seen before. But when this page was scanned, it came out with these colours. It came out with the big line down the middle. And here you get blotches from the previous pages. And this lost colour altogether. So if I just show you... That's the printed version, and that's the original version. It's, it's quite different, a lot of quality is lost. But I've had an idea, so if you are interested in buying a copy of my journal, and thank you so much in the first place for mentioning it, because you've given me the confidence to try and do this, I just didn't ever think it would be good enough. But um, I'm going to try this one other idea that I've got and see if I can get better quality images so I can put something together for you to buy if you want to. So we'll see how that all pans out. The skies become glass, windows in blocks, a tower of clock, a colossal giraffe, goldfinches like sparks, light treetops in flocks and charm the towpaths, ornate bridges arch and stoop over loops and loops of water running under the sky of glass. Wings of slate, tail of tar, Fly over the blocks and clock and colossal giraffe. A flight on a path. Away from the tides, ride in the skies to a landlocked bath. Beak down it dives. In swoops and loops it drops then stops. Home. On water that shines like glass. <laughs> 